Please be seated. It's the Jim Lethbridge, principal of Wood Woodland Middle School, who wanted to share this special day with us. And thank you to my administrative team, Mr. Sergison, Mr. Werner, Ms. Rochford, and Mr. Brennan, for providing the service and looking over our students on a daily basis. And a special thank you to our entire custodial staff, our superintendent of schools, Mr. Louis R. D'Angelo. Good morning, Principal Howard, <coughs> members of the Board of Education, faculty, staff, family and friends, and good morning to you, the soon-to-be 2011 graduates of East Meadow High School. Good morning. <laughs> it is my belief that your high school years have been well spent here at East Meadow High School. You've received an excellent education academically, and as East Meadow High School students, you have been involved in programs, clubs, and activities which have hopefully taught you to be kind, to reach out to others, and to demonstrate an, demonstrate an attitude of caring in all that you do. I came across the following quiz and would ask that you take it with me this morning. No need to answer aloud, but in response to each question, please re reflect and respond quietly to yourself. Who are the five wealthiest people in the world? Name the last five Heisman <laughs> Trophy winners. Name the last two winners of the Miss America pageant. Name six people who've been awarded the Nobel Prize. Name the last half dozen years of World Series winners. How did you do? Here's another quiz. Name a few teachers who've helped you on your journey through high school. Name three friends who've helped you through a difficult time. Name five people who've taught you something worthwhile. Name a few people who've made you feel appreciated and special. Think of five people with whom you enjoy spending time. A little easier, yes? The point is that none of us really remembers the headliners of yesterday. Those mentioned in the first quizzes are no second-rate achievers. They are the best in their fields. But the applause dies, awards tarnish, and achievements, though momentous, are forgotten. The people who make a real difference in our lives are not the ones with the most credentials, the most money, or the most awards. The people who make the most difference in life are the ones who care. You know, it isn't until the day of your graduation that you look around and you realize how ridiculous we all look in these hats. Uh, I'd first like to thank you all for having me as your class president for these past four years. We've all worked so hard together and today is a celebration of our accomplishments. I'd like to give a shout out to my fellow class officers, Linda Liu, Elisa Torres, and Elizabeth Melnichuk. The four of us, yes. The four of us have worked together as a team and I have the pleasure of speaking for us today. I would also like to thank our class advisors, Ms. Luciano, Ms. Ardilio, and Mr. Brennan. They've really helped us out these past four years with, they've really helped me out with everything these past four years in and out of school. Um, we've all had that advisor, that teacher that's guided us and um, it's nice to really have somebody that gives you a sincere, real answer. We should all be grateful to have a uh, mentor like that. In the four years I've been here, I've met so many amazing people, students and teachers alike. We've had teachers that went beyond the day-to-day -day routine and made a connection with the students as people. Whether you were a musician, artist, athlete, or anything in between, you always had someone you could talk to. No matter what your experience was here, the school has changed us and shaped us into who we are today. I look around the audience and I see faces that I've known since kindergarten. We've been with each other for everything. I think of how much we've changed and how much we haven't. We've grown emotionally, physically, mentally into the men and women we are here today. And yet, we still have the hopeful, anxious attitude to finish this part of our lives and move on to the next, just as we did when we were five. 
eager to start fresh and meet new people, to expand our minds and better ourselves, becoming the best us we can be. We, we so excited. High school. <laughs> High school has officially become part of our past now. I know it's scary, but today is the day that we step out of our comfort zone. We're grown-ups now, despite what some may say. Whether you're staying home for college, going away, or seeing where life takes you, you get to start fresh. Some of us didn't like ourselves in high school, and some of us were tied down by our pasts. Today is a new day. It's a renaissance. My advice to you is we move on with our lives. Be the person you were meant to be. We may not have had the chance in high school, but there's nothing stopping you now. Remember the good and accept the rest, because in the end, what really matters is what makes you happy. I say with sincerity that I wish you the best of luck always. I know we'll all keep in touch, though, because we're all friends on Facebook. <laughs> Once again, congratulations to the class of 2011. Thank you all so much, and God bless. on that last Friday of school at Senior Sunrise that the next time I wake up for school, I will be waking up in a dorm for the first of my many college courses. Never again will the class of 2011 walk through the halls of East Meadow High School as a student body, liable to anger and yelling from Mr. Brennan. Now that we've gotten through all those sentimental words that every speech must include, let me tell you that I'm not here to make you cry with memories of high schools, 
and cliches of proceeding on to college. I'm here to congratulate you because surviving here for four years is something worth congratulating. <laughs> sure, maybe none of us have had to survive being pushed into lockers like Boy Meets World will let us to leave. Mm -hmm. And even fewer of, of us can lay claim to experiences like those highlighted in the world of Degrassi. We have, however, learned many important lessons nonetheless. In four years, we've learned that, sometimes, the decision to study for physics is highly overruled by the half hour of choice of what shoes to wear. In 208 months, we've learned how to respond from, to A's from teachers we love, other letters from other teachers, and A's from people we'd much rather not speak to. In 75,920 days, we've learned to say with a straight face, no less, no, I'm not texting. And when pushed about the cell phone barely <laughs> hidden in our lap, we've memorized a highly scientific explanation for the educational benefits of training our thumb mus muscles to better fill in the almighty scantrons. Time management has become an unofficial class we've all excelled in, and I have no doubt that walking in the hallway behind first week freshmen will help me to succeed in everything I've ever dreamt of. So as you can all see, no matter where or if you're going to college and beyond, high school will probably affect your life at least a little. But here's a secret. Whether or not you know the definition of Aristia and Sejura, and whether you can identify the first theorem of calculus and Newton's third law while writing that six-page Moby Dick research paper due tomorrow, well, those moments are not the make it or break it points of your life. No single moment in high school or in college or in life is as important as that. We may all have regrets, like four-year mandatory gym classes, and things we wish we could have done without. But more important are those nights we spent with friends or AP textbooks, testing the limits of the Starbucks baristas. More important are those moments when this graduating class made me amazingly proud for our ability to leave the tri county parking lot in under a minute. <laughs> High school will soon, in half an hour or so, be nothing but a memory. Like that age when we could name all the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, but not a single Renaissance artist. But that's what high school is for, to teach us that it is possible to run successfully on two hours of sleep and a cocktail of Starbucks and Muella. And most importantly, to teach us that Renaissance artists like Michelangelo, the orange ninja turtle, and Donatello, the purple one, do more than eat pizza and fight crime on the weekends. And now our high school days, hours, minutes are winding down. In fact, I'm sure some of you have an app that can tell me the exact amount of time we have left. I just, again, like to congratulate you all. This congratulations is important because as many people as we're accepted to and are going to graduate from the University of Miami, Hofstra University, or NASA Community College, there are only 418 class of 2011 graduates of East Meadow High School, and there are none other than all of you. Congratulations and best of luck. Ms. Neha Sahani, who will be attending Hofstra University this fall. Good afternoon, teachers, administrators, parents, relatives, and of course, fellow classmates. It gives me great pleasure to be standing here right now at our graduation. Boy, does time fly. It's hard to believe that our high school years have come to an end. It feels like yesterday that we first walked into high school afraid and nervous of what was to come ahead. We felt as if we, as if we didn't belong. Now, however, East Meadow High School has become our second home. We've worked hard to do well in our classes, We've made new friends while our older friendships have become stronger, and we've made memories that will always remain close to our hearts. There are a lot of people to thank for contributing to these wonderful four years. I thank every single one of my teachers for going above and beyond what is required of them and for making learning fun. The enthusiasm with which they teach their school subjects is so influential that a student cannot help but enjoy learning. Parents play a major role in their children's lives as well. They encourage them to do their best and work hard. My parents have always told me to work hard because hard work pays off. I cannot thank both of you enough for supporting me and motivating me to follow my dreams, no matter what. And I thank the administration without whom our school would be complete chaos. And lastly, I'd like to thank my friends. My friends have always been there for me through the good times and the bad, and surprisingly, have encouraged me to do well in school. Honestly, I want to tell you guys something today. When I first sat down to write this speech, I couldn't think of anything to say. Uh, I wanted to make this one of the best speeches ever. I googled ideas, yay Google, thank you, and watched YouTube videos of valedictorian speeches. Some speeches were hilarious and others were very creative, like the valedictorian ventriloquist. And then some were just not as amazing. 
One of my friends even recommended that I watch Rory's speech from Gilmore Girls to get some ideas. At the end, however, I realized that I could not relate to any of these random speeches because they were about the person's own experiences and their own feelings. My very own experience in high school has been unique and it's impossible for anyone else's words and ideas to even come close to describing this very special experience. And do you know what made this experience so special? All of you guys out there in those blue gowns. It's true that I've learned a lot in my classes and a lot from my teachers. That's very important because we come to school to learn. But I've met so many different people throughout my high school career with different aspirations. I met people interested in dancing, acting, the sciences, and law, just to name a few. And they've taught me that if we believe in our capabilities and don't stop dreaming big, we can do whatever we want. There's nothing we should be scared of because there's nothing that can stop us. We can shine if we work hard. This reminds me of what Dr. Seuss once said. You have brains in your head, you have feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself in any direction you choose. You're on your own and you know what you know. You're the guy who will decide where to go. As we move, move forward in our lives, just remember that you will decide where you'll be in, ten, in the next 10 years. Make the right decisions and don't give up on your dreams. Everything is possible. Good luck and congratulations class of 2011. Let's show the world what we can do. Thank you, Neha. As all the speakers have expressed, today is a day of celebration and commencement. And I can't help but to enjoy and celebrate this moment with the graduating seniors and the families that are here today. One is the principal of this high school, and two as an alumnus who is privileged to be a part of the great history and tradition this school and community has to offer. Today is also a day where all the speakers feel the need to reflect and give the 400 students seating before us good advice. Maybe it's because we know this is our last chance to have a profound impact on their life. So for the next three to five minutes, bear with me as I try to do the same. Get time off and spend it with your family and friends, celebrating your accomplishments and all that is good in the world. With all these steps in life, please take the 20 next year slowly. And in time, hopefully you will be able to apply the advice that was given today, and someday you too could make a difference with a word. In closing, being an East Meadow graduate and living here for the first 27 years of my life, I have come to be fascinated by the East Meadow student. I often wonder what makes an East Meadow kid. Why is it that year after year it never ceases to amaze me that this high school produces the greatest kids in the world? In all my years living here and now as the principal of this wonderful high school, I have come across one certainty. This is a special place with a school system and community second to none. And what makes it special are the people who live here and work here. The students, the parents, the community members, and the educators. To the graduating seniors, the class of 2011, before awarding the diplomas, I'd like to say that you are a part of an elite group of people who have accomplished the task of graduating from this great high school. And although I know you will take risks and venture out into the world, please understand that you are always welcome back to this special place we all call East Meadow, a place you will always call home. Thank you. Danielle Aranella. Tell me when it's Matthew Viola. Yeah. Erica Ann Tuthill. How much? Jason McIntyre. Jacob, watch. He's coming next. Anthony Rocco Ruggiero. Pollins, <laughs> Jacob Krug, <laughs> Teresa Grace Throw, Jared Brandon Buno, 
Emily Elson. <laughs> Napoleon Mejia. <laughs> Herman Almanzares. <laughs> Jennifer Ambrose. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Rebecca Chan. Kelly O'Neill. Joseph Angelino. John Anthony Villano. Neil Zuckerman. Gaetano Celeste. Sharon Yu. Minju Kim. Anne Marie Remigio. Rem Mew. Sorry. <laughs> Vivian Tang. Rachel Zara. Oh, Samantha might be in this group. Samantha Weiss. <laughs> Christopher Melanchuk. Ming Huang. Vanessa DeFusquale. Charlie Rockham. Catherine Masterson. Brianna Borison. Jennifer Simberlin. Michelle Steinberg. Bisma Masur. Catherine Mendoza. Evan Asher. Brian Huey. Antonio Alves. Adams. Oh my God. Oz Kauser. William K. Wood. Timothy James Kieron. Miriam Callen. Bob's going to write a letter about that. Andromeda Khan. Justin Killen. Youngie Kim. Tia King. Marielle Conowitz. Middle High School graduates, congratulations. Three, monkey butt. <laughs> Hi, Amy. Hi, Randy. Let's go find some blue team. Who's going to win today, Randy? Blue, blue, blue. Maybe we would have seen him. Maybe he's going to surprise us. for Olympics. I didn't know he was leaving. He told me he was staying. You, this is amazing. Hi, how are you? This is Amy. We ran out of water. That's what it looks like. Cool. Wow. Famous pacing. Oh, sorry. 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 